She was James Comey's boss while decisions were being made about how to handle potential investigations into the Clinton campaign or into the Trump campaign. So they hope that if there was some kind of preferential treatment at the DOJ, she would be the one to know about it. And we got a hint about where today's focus will be in yesterday's Comey transcripts, where lawmakers zeroed in on the infamous tarmac meeting where Lynch and Bill Clinton met privately at an Arizona airport while the DOJ weighed charges against his wife. Congressman Jim Ratcliffe asked about a briefing held shortly afterwards like this. Do you recall whether or not this briefing was held at the FBI because of that tarmac meeting, or was it just happened to be a coincidence that it was held on that day? Comey said, it would have had to have been a coincidence. I don't remember a meeting in response to the tarmac meeting. And Comey has previously told lawmakers that he was concerned about the appearance of that tarmac meeting, and he wondered to himself whether or not Lynch should recuse herself from any Clinton matters. But he doesn't remember actually telling her that. He just remembers her telling him he could run point. Right, good, good to have you follow all that. What did Comey tell lawmakers about this process for getting these highly secret FISA warrants on members of the Trump team? Uh, Comey explained why he didn't tell the Trump team about the so-called dirty dossier, which is seen as some of the evidence to potentially back up a FISA warrant so that the U.S. government could spy on U.S. citizens until after the election. Comey was asked by Jim Jordan, were you concerned at all that the president might get the wrong impression, that maybe, in fact, you were, you had this important information that some way you could hold over the president's head? Were you concerned about that? And did you convey it in such a way as to make sure he didn't go away with that impression? And Comey said, I was very concerned that he might interpret it as an effort to pull a J. Edgar Hoover on him. Comey was also asked by Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy in late July of 2016, did the Bureau have any reason to believe that candidate Trump himself was working with Russia to influence the election? Comey said, I can't answer that. Yeah, I can't answer that. Gowdy asked, why can't you answer that? Comey said, because I think it calls for information that falls within the special counsel's investigation, and I've been instructed by the Bureau not to be answering questions that fall within that. However, remember, last time Comey was here, he said the FBI was investigating four Trump campaign associates for possible inappropriate talk with Russia during the campaign, and Trump was not one of them. Well, no. more to come on that. Peter Ducey, thank you. See you next hour with headlines from the Hill.